Good morning YouTube, I'll show you what we're doing today. So earlier this year we cut this hedge, reduced it down. So we're going to give this hedge a trim. Various uh, shrubs uh, a trim, maybe with a trimmer, maybe with just secateurs, just to clear, tidy them up. Give this a trim with the, with the uh, a hedge trimmer. Uh, give that a trim, maybe get some of these branches a trim, uh, just to reduce it down a little bit. Uh, give this a little bit of a trim and a tidy and same as this give this a trim and a tidy uh, trim and a tidy and uh, Sam's just in the process of getting rid of some of this uh, eucalyptus branches that has been cut off uh, clear some of these leaves and what have you um, and uh, just basically give everywhere a tidy up to remove some of this ivy but it all depends on how much time we got give this a trim here uh, again this one I did earlier this year and then work our way around I'll probably leave this I won't do any anything with this um, uh, tidy this up a little bit just get rid of some of the uh, the, the fronds whatever you want to call them and then work our way down here uh, tidy some of these up, maybe separate some of the hedges. You've got silver birch there. I'll, I'll have a chat with the customer, see if he wants me to get rid of the silver birch because I'm going to assume that's self seeded, that's going to get quite big. Give this a tidy, and um, you can see. So, I do point you can might be able to just see there where uh, it's been done before, so that's how high I'll go. Uh, there is a silver birch there, so maybe that one's self seeded, who knows, and then just. A general tidy around uh, and then we'll start working on the borders then and just tidy the borders up and whatever maybe string the edges of the grass and if we've got time we could even mow the lawn we're here for a day so we'll see see what we have in the way of time uh, my first job is going to be maybe just tackling this area and then hopefully I'll get a chance to have a chat with the customer and see what he, what he wants to do with the borders I mean, I can easily spend about four or five hours just doing this.
you've got to be careful of stuff like this. If you head to the and cutting for whatever reason, that is probably the reason why. Sure you've got a spare of your spare, just take your spare goes. Well I didn't film the process of this one because um, I was sort of doing it in between doing the hedge. But this tree here I've just took the top off just to make it a bit lower than the bush here. Um, I think that's a home oak. So uh, I've just took a little bit off just to uh, just lower it down a bit. It will thicken up in the summer. But I use the Wolfgarten um, extended. I think this is the four metre version. There's two versions of this. I just got the longest one. Uh, these are adjustable. Uh, they are heavier than the non-adjustable. So if you want something a bit lighter, it's always a good idea to go with the non-adjustable. And uh, you know, I've also got the. Um, this, I don't know what this is called. What they call this, but it uh, holds the the paracord and it's just a case of a couple of carabiners one hook and then it winds back in so i'm not having loads of um, paracord simple so i'm not having loads of paracord and cord or whatever you want to call it dangling from this because when you buy this uh, this has got, got its cord, I've, you can see I've trimmed it, trimmed it quite quite neatly as you can see. Um, but it's about, I don't know, four or five metres long and you end up having it trailing along the floor. So but get that and it uh, just sits at the bottom. This also is ideal with the pole saw, which I might not be using today. Um, the beauty of the wolf garden stuff is really versatile if you want a long reach rake you know what that was long reach rake or anything else is long reach you can use this just don't go too far like i just had i think this is about four meters so you can see it's Pretty high. Right. I'll give this a rake and then it'll tidy up. I'll show you what I've done around here. Right, I'll show you what I've done around here uh, so far. I'm pretty sure that's a home oak, and what I've done is I've lifted up the canopy because you've got this, what I think is a red robin. And uh, so what I want to try and do is open this up, this area up to let that flourish. And uh, I've still got a little bit of tidying up to do around there, shape it. Over time, that'll get shaped and what have you, and it'll look a lot better. This will thicken up as well over time. Um, it's just when everything's overgrown you do a hard cut and it just doesn't look great 
Same as a Pyrrhus snow. Pyrrhus I find it very hard to to grow because they always end up dead. And you know that they're the, very woody and horrible, but they still grow in. So this is woody and horrible, but it's still growing. So I'm going to trim that off. Um, I've still got to dig out the uh, the laurel, and Sam's going to go along and just tidy the border up and what have you, just clear it out of any debris and brambles and stuff like that. So uh, I've lowered this here. I want to lower a couple more branches just to separate it a bit more and uh, clear out some of that area there. Um, but it's starting to look a lot better now. So Sam's going to do the border work while I do some more trees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my root slayer. This is a root slayer, it's got a serrated edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out the uh, brambles with this. Uh, I do need to give this a sharpen. Uh, but it's been brilliant. The only thing I don't like about it is the handle. I don't know why they've done that. We're going to go and have some lunch. It's half twelve, so it's an eight o'clock start, so we're quite hungry. I've lowered this down. I might take it down a little bit more to this part here um, to reveal the bushes at the back. And whatever they are, I can't tell. Um, the anonymous I've cut down again. Some massive brambles in there, so this I'm going to hack right back take this out completely this is a silver birch a sort of self seeded so I'll take that out uh, I've already took one silver birch out I think it was somewhere I don't know where it was it was going to be around there oh it's the same one it's coming from the same tree so we'll take the silver birch out and just carry on down there there's all brambles and all sorts in this area so and they're coming from the other side so I've said to Sam just cut them from the base and we'll dig out what we can um, so yeah, I might lower this a little bit more, take it down a bit more, maybe, maybe take it to maybe take it to about here. That might be better, the whole lot, and then uh, it'll regrow. Right, let's go and have some lunch. Oh, one other thing, the anonymous here, I'm going to leave that there, I'm going to take out the, uh, the plain green, but leave that, I'm not going to do anything else to that. I've cut this back here, I'm going to leave the silver birch. Um, and just do some light pruning within all this and uh, do that after lunch.
we done today? Smile. <laughs> uh, so we've cut back this hedge, uh, trimmed the hedge. Cut this right back. Trim the pyrrhus. Uh, left the. I was going to take this out, but you know I forgot to do bits and pieces. But there's a lot here that needed to be done. Trim this back. Uh, strimmed underneath. Strimmed right there. Cut this back. I've shaped the home oak uh, so that this will grow better, which I think is a red robin. I could be wrong. I could be wrong because I'm terrible at naming plants. I've cut this down so that um, it's a bit lower than this. Uh, to give a bit of height and difference in texture, trim this, this, chipped all the waste. Trim the hedge across there, that looks so much better now. That looks so much better. Um, it's starting to thicken up as well, because that's privet. But there is a lot of brambles in there, so that causes, that's why there's a big gap here. Because you've got brambles in there. And when I say brambles, we're talking major brambles. Actually, that's a, that's a dog rose, I think, yeah. So, you've you got a dog rose in there, and there's one there. Look, you see how thick it is. And then uh, we trimmed down the hedge down there and what have you. Uh, just tidied that up a bit. And just worked, basically worked our way down. Removed the silver birch. So there's a couple of branches from the silver birch. Trim the hedge back, that is the neighbour's tree. I've left that one to give a bit of texture. I've cut the Euronymous down a little bit and push it back a bit. I've cut this right down. I was going to make it, uh, leave it a bit higher, but I thought, you know, because you've got the trees behind and what have you, so different layers. Um, trim this back. Uh, I'm not sh that's actually... <laughs> No, it's not. It's all right. I was just looking there because there's an old silver birch stump there, and I was wondering if, it, but it's not. It's a completely different tree. Uh, left that. I didn't do much of that. Uh, trim this back. Trim these back, and basically had a bit of a tidy up around the borders, just to tidy the garden up. Oh, and just shape that around a little bit. It's really a garden tidy. Uh, give the guy a. I kept saying base plate, I meant a blank canvas. Uh, the eucalyptus I think he's going to have removed. Never know, I might be able to remove that for him next year. Sam's just picking out last little bits. So we're done. And we can go home and, well, I've got a quote to do now. So we're going to be off.